Welcome, welcome, welcome! My name is Karen Dawn and I am here today to continue working in my new journal and I have over the last several days I've been painting random pages in here doing collage work and now I am going to take scrapbook paper and glue them down in a way that's a little different than I did with the collage. So you'll just have to watch to see how this comes together. So the first thing I did to get this ball rolling was I went through my stash of papers and I was looking for papers that would match. So I was looking for at least, you know, two sheets that would go together and possibly a third one. So I'm, I'm kind of putting them together in little piles like this, going, yep, that goes together. This one's just two. And then I have a couple here that go together. And these ones, I'm, I'm actually thinking of making a whole page spread with just these map page backgrounds. And, uh, and I am using the thinner, um, the thinner scrapbook papers in here, so not cardstock. Cardstock, when you start off making a journal uh, pages with cardstock, it gets really fat, fat, really fast. So I like to use the thinner ones. So these all go together. And so uh, as you can see, I just have a really nice variety here of things to work with. So I'm going to start off by um, randomly selecting a page and the way that I'm working in this journal is I don't want to work from you know front to back because that is going to make for an uneven spine. If you break in a journal and you work more randomly and more evenly, you're going to end up with a much more even uh, book. It won't be so lopsided when you're done. So I'm, I'm going to be looking for blank pages in here. Um, I'm not working on anything that I've already painted or collaged on just yet. These are just background pages. I'm going to be using matte medium to put down my papers and you know use whatever glue you've got. Doesn't really matter. I just prefer the matte medium.
Okay, I have done several pages, many, many, many pages in here at this point, and I have closed up the book and let it dry for a little bit. And now I'm going to go back through the pages and I'm going to trim the edges off because as you saw, I when I put these down, I did not trim them to size. And this is actually a far easier way to glue paper into your books. By trimming them later, you don't have to fuss around with the edges and trying to get it just right. So that is the final step that I will do before I call this portion complete and that these pages will be ready for journaling. Okay, so before I go, I have one more little thing that I wanted to show you. And this is something new to me. I've never actually done this before. Um, doing all of those um, gluing down the, the paper made everything really, really wet. And I usually uh, press my books um, flat to let them dry, but this just, you know, it was going to take days. So I ended up taking the book and fanning it out like this. Um, and then I put these uh, binder clips and I actually have some, I ran out of binder clips. I have these gigantic paper clips too. I grabbed whatever I could to clip the pages together. And originally I had it um, in, I had them all clipped just in the middle, but then I realized that as the pages dry, these are, it's going to curl on me. So instead I put a clip at the top and a clip at the bottom and fan this out and actually put a um, I have a little fan that I use and that's going to allow that to dry without these pages getting too curled and too warped and of course this only works because there are several pages in between so as you can see there's several pages so this is pretty stiff it's going to it's kind of self sustaining in that respect. So just another um, method to consider for drying. It is difficult when pages get really, really wet and you work on a lot of different pages at a time to ensure that everything's going to dry without it getting too warped. Now once this is dry, I probably will go back to, um, I will take all of the clips out and then press it and, and lie it flat and really you know, flatten everything out. But I actually think that this, this method could be really useful. So I just wanted to share that with you as one la last little tip for these pages. And I hope you enjoy making your own.